David Clash grew up captivated by the elegance of 1930s French cars. To him, these vehicles were more than machines. They were rolling works of art. Classic European luxury brands like Bugatti, Alfa Romeo and Delahaye represented a golden era of automotive design, an era when cars weren't just engineered but sculpted. These were cars for collectors, and for David, they seemed like distant dreams, rare and out of reach. Towards the end of his studies at RMIT, David felt an idea forming. What if he could capture that magic himself? What if he could bring the elegance of the 1930s into the modern age, creating a car that was both a tribute to the past and a statement of originality? It was a bold ambition, but David had the determination and vision to bring it to life. From this inspiration, the Devo began to take shape, though the path from concept to reality was far from straightforward. David's approach to design was meticulous, moving between 2D sketches and 3D models, refining each line and curve. His process was one of constant evolution, a conversation between vision and practicality. This balance, this willingness to adapt and improve, would become the essence of the Devo. The name Devo itself has a story. One day a friend suggested that David give the car a French name to reflect its inspiration. David immediately thought of his mother's maiden name, a French Huguenot name that had always held a special place in his family. Naming the car Devo was not just a nod to its origins, it was a tribute to his mother, who was delighted to see her family name on such a masterpiece. Building a car from scratch required more than just inspiration. It took engineering expertise. David was fortunate to have his father, an engineer, by his side. Together they took an old Riley 2.5-litre chassis and began the transformation. With its hydraulic brakes, rack and pinion steering and torsion bar suspension, the Riley was an ideal foundation, sophisticated yet sturdy. And with a reliable Jaguar straight six engine, David's vision had its heart and soul. From a frame to a body, the Devo evolved piece by piece. Hundreds of individual parts, each custom made, were meticulously crafted and assembled. David recalls countless hours spent welding, shaping and refining the car's form. There were many hurdles along the way, but David describes the process as both exhilarating and deeply satisfying. The Devo Mark I was a beauty, with two initial models built on the Riley frame. But as the car evolved, David felt it needed a more custom approach. The Mark I was just the beginning. As David's vision grew, he realized that any further models needed a more sophisticated foundation. A modern chassis was essential, not just for performance, but for the added safety and handling that would define the future of the Devo. This meant adjustable suspension, robust disc brakes, and a frame designed to accommodate higher speeds and tighter control. And so began the search for components that would elevate the Devo's design. David set his sights on a cutting-edge space frame chassis, which would eventually form the core of the Mark II and Mark III models. At its heart was the ModTech independent front suspension assembly, combined with a four-link controlled live rear axle. This configuration brought the Devo to a new level of sophistication, allowing it to handle with the precision and stability needed for speeds up to 200 km per hour. With the space frame chassis, the Devo was now primed for a powerful drivetrain, the Mark II, a further development, was built using the new chassis and a 4-litre overhead cam Ford six-cylinder engine. Then the Mark III was paired with the 5.7-litre GM LS1 engine. This modern chassis provided the safety and secure handling David envisioned, bringing out the best of both power and precision. For drivers, this meant options. They could now specify a manual or automatic gearbox, customizing their own hand-built marvel to fit their driving style and preferences. Just as he saw the potential for a coupe, David realized there was another car waiting to be discovered within the Devo a roadster, 
a spider version that would offer drivers an open-air experience. Using modified molds, David created the Devo Spider, a convertible with the same elegance but a spirit all its own. Each new version was a reinvention, breathing fresh life into a design he had already poured so much into. Every Devo underwent rigorous testing. David has driven his creations thousands of kilometers, including challenging rallies like the Adelaide Rally, where the Devo proved its resilience in the South Australian mountains. This isn't just about testing performance, it's about ensuring each Devo is as reliable as it is beautiful. David understands that hand-built cars need special care. Each Devo owner has access to custom parts and dedicated support, a rare luxury in today's world. David himself takes pride in the craftsmanship behind every component, and if any part needs to be remade, he knows just how to craft it. The Devo's future is uncertain, facing the ever-growing challenges of regulations that make handcrafting cars increasingly complex. Only seven have been made, but for David, each obstacle is part of the journey. He's dedicated to keeping the spirit of the Devo alive, believing there will always be a place for craftsmanship and art in the automotive world.